Hey guys, it's time for a DBG's Let's Play. The very first, actually, my debut of a Let's Play. And to start my debut off, we're gonna do a news lock challenge. For the couple of you who actually don't know what that is, it's basically a set of requirements people put on themselves to make the game a little bit more interesting, and, to, and for some people to develop some bonds with people. With people, some Pokemon. So, what are the rules of a Nuzlocke challenge? Well, rule one. Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. No buts about it, it's dead, you gotta get rid of it. You cannot revive it, it's done. Peter would just love this shit. The second rule. You... Yeah, what's the second rule? Oh, <laughs> uh, the second rule is any new area you go into, you gotta catch the first Pokemon you see. If you kill by accident, that's it. So, that's your only chance. You get one chance, that's it. If you don't get it, too bad. And I'm gonna put a little two, couple rules on mine for me. Because honestly, I know the way I play, it'll be boring as hell. Rule one, if, uh, I, if uh, the first new area I go into and the first new Pokemon that pops up is one I already own, then I can go to the next one to recapture it. Because that way, at least you're not getting five Pidgeys in a row. And that'll keep it a little bit more, uh, interesting. And the second rule is, it's more of my thing, because I know myself, I'll end up leveling like 20 levels higher, and then that's going to be boring as hell too. So whatever the highest level Pokemon the current gym leader has, that's when I'll max out. I can't go any higher than 10 levels. Okay? We good? We good. So, now we got to pick our Pokemon. I'm going to roll the dice. Two and three, I got to re-roll. Four, five, six, Bulbasaur. Seven, eight, nine, Charmander. And 10, 11, 12, Squirtle. Well then, guess we're going with Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur is your choice. Yes, I do want to go with the Bulbasaur. Alrighty, I received my first Pokemon. Let's go. You want to give him a nickname? Of course I do. I always got to give a nickname, and I got the perfect one right off the bat. Definitely that wasn't pre-planned at all. But we're gonna name him the name my dad wanted to name me. So we got a Z, an E, an R, and an O. Zero, yeah, that's right. My dad wanted to name me Zero because he thought it was such a fucking cool name. I am so glad they chose Jordan because Jesus Christ, I would have never heard the end of it. So, rival head cheese would like to battle. Well, head cheese sent out Charmander. Go, Zero. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. TBG, you've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? Um, I kinda did. Pokemon, oh fuck, just shut up. Stop. Play! Thank you. Oh no, come on. <laughs> Keep on growling. Well, no, don't keep on growling. Oh, fuck. So, what's the rule if you... Oh, okay, I don't have to worry about that rule. I was gonna ask what's the rule if you die on the first battle. I think that just uh, fits in a repeat, which I... I mean, I wouldn't mind too much. I could not stick with Bulbasaur, but... Uh, fuck it, I like you, Bulbasaur. I got a good feeling about you. Definitely got a good feeling you leveled up. Yeah. And you gained 69 fucking, oh my god, I'm glad I caught that. My Zero got 69 points from my head cheese rival. Jesus fucking Christ. Yep, yeah, Zero head nine. Head nine. Zero? Fuck. He totally head nine him. <laughs> So, for the few followers I do have at this point, you're probably wondering, why are you starting a Let's Play now? Well, honestly, I mean, they're popular, and you gotta give what, what the people they, what they want. And secondly, I realized that I'm only able to get maybe one or two videos out a month, so I figured this would be a good way to get one out at least maybe once or twice a week. So, 
And as we're gonna have a little bit of a rule here, I know I said the first Pokemon you encounter in each new area, but I don't have any Pokeballs. I can't capture them, so... We're gonna uh, bend the rules a little bit on this one. I don't think you can hate me too much. Do well. Oh, fuck off! Oh. Such a good st Oh my god. So yeah, a little bit of a pause there, but um, I'm gonna probably not show off a lot of these walking sections. What the fuck do I want to be in there for? Oh wait, no, no I want to be in there. Because I know from my own experience watching an RPG, especially something like this, and where the video is like 20 minutes of walking and 5 minutes of battling, that can get pretty boring, so... I'm gonna be skipping over a lot of the walking stuff, and you're gonna see mostly battles. And then if I gotta do any like little commentaries of the certain important figures in the game, then I'll make room for that. But so far, I'm gonna go get this parcel and I'll see you in a bit, because then I'll get my Pokeballs and then we'll get this show really started. Oh. Pidgey. Pidgeys are cool. Tata, fuck. That. But I guess I'll catch it. There we go. Doing good, Zero. Proud of you. What are we gonna name it? You know what? It's kind of cliche, but we'll go with Rat Bass. Why? Because this roll. Come to love the name Rat Bass. A lot of them will be screaming that name once you kick their ass and you kill them. God, I don't have to worry about catching you. I already caught one. Do a little tackle. Not you, me. Or zero. Zero the hero. There we go. Level 7. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Seriously? I'll let you live this time. Come on. Yeah! I like Minky. Minky's good. Penny. Kill it. Oh, fuck off. Oh! oh. If I would have killed that, oh my god. God, man, that would've been bullshit. But I didn't know. Fucking right on. Yeah, you guys knew I was going with this one. Mr. Hank. EY or just Y? Fuck it, EY. Okay, let's see what I'm gonna get this time. Come on, I want a Pidgey. Need a Pidgey. Give me a fucking Pidgey. Game just loves Rattatas today! Ugh. Pidgey, now! Oh, for fuck's sakes. Wow. 
I might just have to give up on this Pidgey. Hit it. Oh, fuck off. Alright, you wanna be that way? You're going down, little prick. right now and you're just killing them off so far, but let's just try one more time and see if we get a stupid fucking Pidgey. Jesus Christ. Alright, well, we gotta get a fucking Pidgey sooner or later. There we go. Call him if I get him. Of course, you could end up fucking killing him. But he missed, so that's Time for a poke. I wonder if I just broke a rule that uh, if I left the area, that then it's done. If I did, well, I made a boner. There we go. Let's go, Momo. Come on, Momo. Yeah, you keep on doing that to Momo. Just string him up. But he'll keep on attacking you. You missed Momo, what the hell? It's not good, Momo. Momo! start where I'm gonna get a critical like every other battle because that's no just no and I did not get poisoned wow I can't think of any more of the song so I'm gonna stop now let's go Momo oh shit Momo ain't gonna last Oh fuck. Contributed. Was it? Go, Mr. Hanky. What? No! No, 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 you cannot do that! Well, you can, but don't do it to me! You, no. Sickening. So sickening. Oh my god, man. I have a feeling Rat Bastard is just not gonna last. Might. Yes! <laughs> yeah, Rat 
fat bastard, you got a place in my heart. Don't die. No, Momo, get on his ass. Well, get off his ass and contribute to taking out a Pokemon on his own. That'd be swell. Come on, Momo. Do better than that, Momo. Let's go. Take out that Pidgey, Momo. You can do it, Momo. As you can tell, I like saying Momo. Kinda reminds me of that scene from Casino where he's like, What's the matter with you, you fucking... Actually, I'll just let him play. It cannot happen, would not happen. You fucking Momo, what's the matter with you? Don't worry, Christmas Pooh Monkey will save the day, I hope. First episode had my first casualty. So, bird the word, do your stuff. Do it quickly, I do not want to lose two in one fucking fight. There we go. Poor red bastard. See you later. No worry. I'm sure there'll be a 2.0 version of you soon enough. Oh, I'm one Pokemon down! So <laughs> that's last for a while because I kinda like my Pokemon pool right now. Well, could have used a Charmander, but that's not the point! I got my Momo. Momo, fuck off, Momo. Failing me, Momo. Your docile attitude is not flying with me. You take out this Pidgey now! And next turn. There we go. Momo, you did good. Wow, that's the first time I've ever seen a level 5 in this area. I thought I only ever went up to level 4. <laughs> Shit you learned. But I have a feeling Momo ain't gonna be able to take this Pidgey on his own. Holy fuck, no, he's not. Criticals. Suck my pee pee. Guess what, Zero? You're making a triumphant return because you're the only one that's gonna be able to do anything. Maybe not. Fuck right off! <laughs> Come on! Are you kidding me? Like, come on! Three in a fucking row, and you missed too! Oh, fucking joyous day! I'm out of here! Oh my. <laughs> oh. That's unbelievable! That's disgust. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm out of here. That Butterfree is gonna kick some ass one day. Joyous day. Momo is evolving. Go, Momo Metapod. Mopod. My mo man. You know, for a fighting type, you don't pack a lot of power. Wow. 
This Mickey's really weak. Jesus Christ. No! Oh, suck my ass. Oh, Mr. Hanky. No. Oh, two in one video. Good for me. I lost my fucking Mr. Hanky on one fucking hit. Come on, bird the word. You need to avenge Mr. Hanky. Take that little bitch out. God. I can't believe that fucking happened. I was about to say, oh yeah, let's fucking level up Mr. Hanky now. That was gonna fucking happen. And I had high hopes for you. I was like, fucking right, I'm Mr. Hanky? And then, you crap out on me. Ah, uh, Hanky. No, 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 no. You ain't doing that again. Done. So done.